This is the story of an astonishing experiment in China's vast deserts, a region that was once thriving with life, now struggling under the weight of desertification. Scientists made a daring decision to release a herd of horses, long extinct in this region, back into the wild. But what happened next was far more extraordinary than anyone anticipated. These horses didn't just survive, they sparked a chain of events that led to the restoration of an entire ecosystem. Today, we're going to explore how the reintroduction of these ancient creatures could be the key to reversing desertification. The Desolate Land China's deserts, particularly the Gobi Desert, are vast and unforgiving. Once home to rich grasslands, this region has slowly been losing its fertility due to human activity, overgrazing, and climate change. Desertification has made the land more barren, eroded, and less able to sustain life. Experts estimate that around 27% of China's land has already been affected by desertification. In areas like the Gobi, once thriving ecosystems have shrunk drastically, with soil erosion becoming a major concern. A number of mysterious markings in the middle of a vast Chinese desert. Some clearly seem to be buildings, others are just bizarre. This process occurs when wind and human actions expose the soil, making it harder for vegetation to grow. Without plants to protect it, the soil becomes compacted and dry, and the once fertile land can no longer hold water. This loss of fertile soil is especially concerning because it directly affects agriculture, water availability, and local wildlife. However, efforts are being made to restore these landscapes. The key to such a restoration? The wild animals that once lived there. One of the most remarkable steps taken by conservationists is the reintroduction of Przewalski's horses into the region. These horses, long extinct in the wild here, are seen as potential saviors. Could they help restore this land? The answer lies in understanding their historical role in maintaining the ecosystem. The Forgotten Horse The Przewalski's horse, also known as the Wild Horse, was once native to the steppes and deserts of Asia, including areas that are now part of China. These horses played a critical role in the ecosystem by grazing on grasslands and helping to maintain the balance of plants and soil. Their grazing patterns kept shrubs and trees from overtaking the grasslands, and their movement across the land helped fertilize the soil. This cycle was essential for the health of the prairies. Unfortunately, by the 20th century, the species had nearly vanished from the wild due to overhunting, habitat loss, and human encroachment. While some individuals survived in captivity, the wild population of Przewalski's horses was considered extinct by the 1960s. However, thanks to successful breeding programs, the species was reintroduced in protected areas around the world. For years, scientists and conservationists believed that the return of these horses to their native land might help restore the desert ecosystem. This idea gained traction in the early 2000s when researchers began to realize the potential of rewilding. By returning the horses to their natural habitat, scientists hoped to see how their grazing behavior would impact the landscape. The result of this experiment is nothing short of remarkable. The decision to reintroduce. In 2012, conservationists and biologists came together to bring Przewalski's horse back to China. It was an ambitious plan, an experiment to see whether these horses could adapt to the harsh desert landscape and contribute to the restoration of the land. The horses were released into the Gobi Desert, an area that had been severely impacted by desertification. The goal was clear to see if the horses could help reverse some of the damage that had been done to the soil. The decision to reintroduce the horses wasn't made lightly. It was the culmination of years of research, planning, and understanding of the ecological role these animals once played in the region. The scientists chose a carefully controlled environment, ensuring that the horses would have access to water, food, and shelter as they acclimated to their new surroundings. 
The hope was that the horses would graze and roam across the desert, just as they had done centuries ago. They were expected to not only help with the land's restoration, but also assist in promoting biodiversity by spreading seeds, fertilizing the soil, and maintaining a healthy balance of plant life. What happened next surprised everyone, even the experts. Grazing, trampling, and shaping the desert. Once the Przewalski's horses were released, scientists closely monitored their behavior. As expected, the horses began grazing on the available grasses and plants. This may have seemed like natural behavior, but the impact on the environment was extraordinary. Their grazing patterns helped break up compacted soil, allowing water to infiltrate more easily. The movement of their hooves loosened the topsoil, which is vital for plant growth. In desert environments, where water retention is crucial, even small changes in soil structure can make a significant difference. As the horses trampled the soil, they created small pockets where rainwater could pool, which plants then absorbed. This process made the land more fertile and helped prevent further erosion. Moreover, their grazing maintained a balance of plant life, preventing one species from overtaking the land. By mimicking natural grazing patterns, the horses created microhabitats that supported diverse species, enhancing biodiversity in the desert. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Unexpected results. As the Przewalski's horses roamed the desert, the landscape transformed in unexpected ways. New plants began to emerge in areas once devoid of vegetation. The horses grazing promoted the regrowth of native grasses, essential for stabilizing soil, preventing desertification, and providing food for other animals. But it wasn't just the grasses that returned. Other plant species also thrived. The seeds for these plants had been dormant in the soil, waiting for the right conditions to sprout. The horses grazing and trampling created those conditions. Their movement also led to the formation of wetlands, where rainwater pooled in shallow depressions, fostering new ecosystems. These wetlands became a habitat for birds, insects, and other wildlife. What started as simple grass regrowth turned into a full ecological revival. The desert, once barren, became a vibrant landscape, bringing wildlife back for the first time in decades, thanks to the lush vegetation and new water sources. A thriving ecosystem and the impact on desertification. By 2020, the results of the Przewalski's horse reintroduction into the Gobi Desert were undeniable. What was once a barren stretch of sand had transformed into a thriving ecosystem. The grasses, shrubs, and even small trees that had been absent for years began to spread across the desert. The resurgence of plant life had a ripple effect on the food chain. Small mammals, birds, and insects reappeared, finding food and shelter in the restored vegetation. In turn, these creatures attracted larger predators, such as birds of prey. This created a diverse and interconnected ecosystem where each species supported one another. The horses not only helped restore plant life, but also made the desert a more viable habitat for other species, turning it into a mosaic of thriving ecosystems. The land, once struggling to survive, was now flourishing. This success has profound implications for desertification, the process by which fertile land turns into desert. Desertification is a significant environmental challenge worldwide, leading to soil erosion, loss of biodiversity, and reduced agricultural productivity. However, Przewalski's horses have helped reduce desertification in the Gobi Desert by as much as 25%. Their grazing and movement stabilized the soil, reduced erosion, and created conditions that supported plant life. The restoration of vegetation has slowed the spread of the desert, proving that the reintroduction of keystone species like these wild horses can play a vital role in land recovery. This experiment highlights nature's ability to heal itself, offering hope for future rewilding efforts in other desertified regions. The Future of Rewilding The successful reintroduction of the Przewalski's horse into China's desert has sparked global interest in rewilding projects. Scientists and conservationists are now looking into how other species, 
such as wild cattle, elephants, or bison, could help restore ecosystems affected by desertification and habitat loss. These large herbivores once played a crucial role in shaping ecosystems before their numbers were drastically reduced by human activity. The concept of rewilding involves reintroducing these species to restore balance to disturbed ecosystems. The Przewalski's horse experiment proves that, with careful planning, rewilding efforts can succeed. This highlights the importance of biodiversity in ecosystem restoration. By bringing back species that historically shaped the land, we can revitalize ecosystems to their more natural states. The next step is to monitor the long-term effects of these reintroductions and expand similar projects worldwide. The success of these efforts offers hope for addressing desertification and environmental degradation on a larger scale. The success of the Przewalski's horse experiment in China's desert teaches us that nature has an incredible ability to restore itself when given the right conditions. By reintroducing these wild horses, scientists have shown that species once vital to ecosystems can help reverse damage, such as desertification. The horse's grazing patterns and movements have revitalized the land, proving that restoration is about more than just individual species. It's about restoring entire ecosystems. This experiment offers hope for future rewilding efforts and shows that the key to healing the planet lies in bringing back species that once shaped the land.